morning YouTube. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make some rose hip syrup. <gasps> da, 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 the beautiful fruit of the romantic rose. Yes. And we're going to make some yummy syrup from it. And we're going to make syrup because it's a great way to take all the vitamin C and antioxidants out of these rose hips and preserve them in a nice syrup. Mm. And you can put one teaspoon a day in your cup of tea in the morning and it'll fill your body with all that goodness. So perfect for the beginning of winter to yeah. start fighting those colds. Yeah, it's been used for centuries as a as a, a health boost it boosting medicine. So to make this rose hip syrup, yes. we were gonna make it easy peasy lemon oh, squeezy. Yeah. So all the, the recipes you read on the internet, they can overcomplicate things and say you need a grinder and to soak things overnight. We've simplified it and we're gonna show you how you can make it easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. We're going to need... Oh, yeah, we're going to need... Bowl of rose hips. One bowl of rose hips, which is three cups of rose three hips. Cups. Yeah. We need... One melon. One lemon. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> you need one lemon. One lemon. What is yeah. it, Maddie? Lemon. Yeah. Yeah, one lemon. Uh, about three cups of yeah. sugar. Oh, chuck it everywhere. And the jar. And you can use any sugar you want. You can use brown sugars and healthier sugars, but today we're going to use the refined sugars because we want to show all that goodness and colour in the jar. Mm -hmm. So come with us and make some syrup today. Yeah. So as soon as you forest your rose hips, you get them home, give them a little rinse to clean them off, and then you're going to put them in the freezer overnight. And what that does is fakes the frost for your rose hips and that will make them sweeter. Out the freezer they come, nice and frozen. We're going to pop them in the colander. And then what we're going to do, Maddie? Put them in hot water. That's right, we're going to rinse them over warm water just to soften them up, make them a bit easier for chopping. Mm. So the reason we're definitely using a spoon and not our hands is because these rose hips are a bit spiky. So the next step is you chop off the tops and the bottoms of your rose hips and then you either chop them a little bit or give them a bit of a squish so they, the juices come out easier and you put them in the pan If you want to know anything about rose hips, how to identify them or where to find them, then check out this video ah, and I'll tell you all about the rose hip, every single bit from the nutrition to the history, anything you've got to know, I'll tell you in this video. Oops. We're going to chop one lemon into some slices. And we're going to pop the lemon in the pan. Not this one. Not that bit, no, yeah, I suppose. Lovely. Two mugs of water. Pop the water in. Pop on the hob and bring to the boil. Now it's boiling, turn it down and simmer for 20 minutes. So it's been simmering for 20 minutes and the reason that you simmer it is so all the goodness of the rose hips comes out into the water and then we're going to use that water to get all that goodness into our syrup. So now you need a muslin cloth or an old pillowcase or anything like that. We're going to use this bandana because we're going to pass it through it and that's going to stop all them hairs getting in our water that it can irritate, irritate you. Wow. Rose hip goodness. Look at that. 
all the vitamin C and antioxidants is now in that water and out of them rose hips. And all the goodness from them lemons is in there too. Whoop. And the lemons actually help it last longer in the cupboard. But if you're allergic to lemons, you don't have to put them in if you don't want to. Oh, clock's going. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all of it, eh? If you'd like to get every drop, it's a bit hot, but you can squeeze out every bit. Maybe get yourself a tea towel if you've got fair hands, and then you can squeeze it properly like that. Get all that goodness with none of them itchy hairs. Now, here's all our rose hip goodness. It smells like good health. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't squeeze that crazy hard. I just got the juice out. We don't want to go too mad. We don't want to get them irritating hairs in our juice. So then you get your juice and you add it in your pan, which I also rinsed just before I did that because we don't want any irritating hairs. We're going to add two cups of sugar. Now, I know this seems like it's a lot, but when you actually use the syrup, you're only using a little tiny bit at a time in your tea or on top of your ice cream. So it's not too bad. And you can, if you like, omit the sugar for maybe like a natural sweetener or something, um, but it's up to you. Okay, I'll pop this on a high heat to bring it up to a boil. I'm going to bring down to a simmer for 45 minutes. So whilst it's simmering, you've got to stir it. You don't have to continuously stir it, but every few minutes stir it and always stay with the syrup. Never leave things unattended in the kitchen. Also, whilst you're there, this is made with rose bay willow herb, the fireweed. I've got a video on how to make that. This is elderflower, made with elderflower. I've got a video on how to make that. And we also, we haven't got any left, but our favorite one is made from dandelions. Dandelion syrup, dandelion honey, everyone knows it as. Now that is good, we've got a video on that too, so check them out if you want. So, as your delicious rose hip syrup is simmering, if you find that there's too much of this white foam on the top, sometimes you can just scoop it out and you just pop it in a bowl. So we've been simmering our lovely rose hip syrup for 40 minutes. And for us, that's gonna be the perfect thickness. Now it still looks quite watery, but the trick is, is that when it cools, it actually thickens up. So to test if yours is thick enough for you, you can just get a teaspoon, tablespoon, pop some in a bowl, wait for it to cool for five minutes, and then we'll check the thickness and see if it's ready. It's finished. Here is the syrup. Now, this is hot stuff. So, be careful when you're pouring it. That is full of vitamin C and all the rose hip goodness. Now, don't worry if it's runny because it will thicken up as it cools down. Look at that. Now, that's how to make rose hip syrup. But we've made it so much more easier than all these recipes that say you need to grind it and leave it to soak overnight. This is the exact same result apart from simp simplified. So here we have it guys, a jar of delicious rose hip syrup. Oh yeah. Time for the taste test. Mm, exciting. There is so much vitamin C in there, it is crazy. Okay. There you go. Mmm. 
It's very nice. <laughs> it's hard to explain. It tastes smooth. What's it? it tastes like the power of love. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it has come from the lovely rose bush. Mm. Ooh. Very nice. The thing I love about these syrups is they all have the most unique flavours. Yeah. So this one tastes quite sweet and mm. it does taste like love. It really <laughs> does. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's really nice. It tastes very rosy. Yeah. Floral. You can kind of taste the flowers. Yeah, flowery. The, yeah, you like, know it's a rose hip syrup. The thing I really like about them is they all come in their own different colours. So this is Rose Bay Willow Herb. Look how dark red, one dark red cool and that was, was that? really summery wasn't it that one yeah. it was in the height of summer that oh, one was yeah. made that was made in the sunshine and then this one elderflower and that was so florally you could really taste the elderflower it was amazing it tastes great and but that's the thing so all these past all the months past and seasons past and we still have the flavours of them left behind because it preserves it for so long it's uh it, we will you will never go out of date before you finish it, that's for mm. sure. So, we use ours in our tea. So, yeah. rather than having a spoonful of sugar, because we both like sugar in our hot drinks. Yeah, like a bit of a sweet cup of tea. We have a spoonful of syrup. Yeah, so don't worry about it, because there is a lot of sugar in it, but just don't eat the whole jar at once. Moderation <laughs> is key. <laughs> balance. <laughs> balance. Balance, everybody. Yeah. Um, and also... The kids love it mm. on ice cream. So we yeah. call it ice cream sauce. <laughs> and we sprinkle it over the ice cream. Yeah. Oh, it's a great, it's really fun to just make by yourself or make with your kids as a little educational project. It's, it's really cool because it gets you outside in the fresh air mm. and then you also get to bring something home and actually make a sweet, a sweet, a, a pudding. A, uh, mm. uh, yeah. yeah, you can drizzle it over cakes, over hot sponges as well, like a bit like a lemon drizzle, but you could have a rose hip drizzle in in the olden days they used to put a teaspoon in a glass of warm water or warm milk and then you can get your vitamin c and antioxidants yeah. through it through that way and it makes no nice one drink. getting scurvy around here actually. no one's getting scurvy in this house <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it guys a lovely jar of rose hip syrup yum 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 lovely sugary yumminess for the <laughs> winter months <sighs> Yeah. in our cups of tea and on our ice cream so everyone you go out there collect some rose hips and make some delicious syrups yeah let us know if you give the recipe a go um, yep. we'd love to hear how it goes if you've got any questions just let us know in the comments below we're happy to answer but hopefully the video is self explanatory yeah. um, ring the bell because you do get notifications for our next video which is going to be great um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah um, like, comment, subscribe, and it really helps us to grow. And Check in the description, and we have a Facebook page. You can come like that if you want, and uh, we share all the little one lovely things we get up to on there too. Yeah. Peace, guys. Peace.